Check this monster out, a 7,000 three cell LiPo battery. This is 7,000 milliamp hours. It's gonna give me a ton of runtime from Gen's Ace. I'm gonna be running it in my uh, Founder 2 today. This is from Traction Hobby, a 1 8 scale trail truck that has true two wheel uh, and four wheel drive selectability, uh, as well as a two stage transmission, as well as <laughs> locking and unlocking differentials, uh, all done by a remote, of course. Uh, the Founder 2, the most notable upgrades on it are the uh, internal brass axle mounted weights. If we could just get my camera to focus on it there, there it is. These weights come pre-installed already onto the uh, portal gears, as you can see right here. On the inside of the other wheel, look at how much steering throw this vehicle has. Look at that, straight off to the side. So for such a large vehicle, it really can move around well. These wheels are my D1 RC wheels. You've seen me use these on my uh, Capo JK Max. They are 3.22 uh, millimeter in diameter, I believe. So they are very uh, large on the JK Max. Uh, but on the uh, Founder 2, I think it looks fantastic. It looks a lot like the uh, Craigsman. And it does have similar stylings to it, of course. This is the paint job I decided to give it, but a few more aggressive pieces on it like these uh, side flares. Yes, you have to hand screw every single one of these screws in. There is a total of 64 of them uh, on, <laughs> on uh, 32 per side is what I wanna say, 64 altogether. Of course, the aggressive looking front, I have not put a light kit into it yet, but I will in the future. Got a little bit of Arnie uh, driving for me there. Again, focusing, thank you very much, <laughs> camera. Uh, light bar up top, it did come with light pods up top and it did not come with this roof rack, it's just something that I had. Uh, but enough chit chat, I wanna get out there on my backyard scale course and see how this looks in the sunlight. So I'm in high gear. Stock motor, this is a 28 turn brushed motor in here. Gonna go into low gear. Everything's locked up right now. And up to the starting gate. That's the great thing about eight scale uh, crawling so far is that you can basically go so many more places and you'd think, well, then it's just too easy. I really like 10 scale and, and the lines I can pick. But truth of the matter is, is you can pick brand new lines that are equally as challenging, just a little bit more so because they're bigger, more opportunity. Let's drop down here. See, mall crawlers really do go off-road. Really steep angle here. No protection on this side for the side hill, but that's why I like these really wide tires. It gives me a nice footprint, uh, as well as those wheel weights really kind of give me a lower center of gravity. A little bit of speed here. Up and over. Down to the axle tester. If I can get everything lined up, this should go okay. Yeah, good. Just gotta choose my line carefully. Beautiful. I have a feeling I'm about to get punished. Little bit of a hop, wheel speed. Good. Down over the axle hangers. Having to choose my line carefully. But again, with the larger tires, it's a little bit easier to, tra uh, to traverse some of these things. Like, look at this. Instead of hanging me up, I'm gonna just drive right over it. Very nice, I like the aggressive look of the Founder too. I found it a little bit more of a difficult build uh, because the, the screws weren't labeled properly. Uh, the instruction book, you know, really isn't too good. Most of it came assembled already, but there are a few things you need to put together. Oh, 
There we go. Don't want to tip it over. Got that nice steering angle working to my advantage here. Mm, I'm a little off center. Nice crawl, nice crawl. Straight into it on the other side. Let's actually go down the inside road here. Ooh, stuck. Digging a hole. So nice. Bring it into a down section, kind of twists you up a little bit in here. Got nice high clearance underneath for that belly, not getting hung up too much. Great shot into the rock climb. This will be tricky, I'm going to have to plan my route here. Of course, getting the tires all wet before the rock climb never helps. Really hoping for that tire flex to grab and give me some traction. Everything locked up right now and almost vertical. Okay, gonna have to back up and give her a bit of jam. There we go, beauty. Now it's a straight fall on the other side here, so we're going to have to plan this out with that stinger bumper. There it is, straight into the pit. Turning immediately, yes, and the bumper clears, but I'm hung up on the back. Not so long though. the hill. Oh, almost down. Now those tires that were wet got picked up some mud. side. What a great day to be outside enjoying the sun and just a little bit of RC. This is what I do for exercise. This gets me up off the couch, you know. Definitely enjoy getting my vitamins outside, that's for sure. Yes! Monster! I love this rig. Okay guys, thanks a lot. Hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, trail run. The look at the founder too, of course. I'll leave some information in the video description box down below. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now get outside and have fun with RC. You know I always do. Bye for now.